We go now Court Clopping in the Storm Tracker Center, where you're never more than 10 minutes away from your local weather. Court? Yeah, that's right. Julia, a lot of the questions on people's minds today, are we seeing the winds resurging? Are we seeing more very active wet weather on the way today? And the answer to both those questions is actually positive, and that's winds not expected to be all that strong today. Rain holding off again until tonight. So we do have a reprieve on the way from the wet weather, but we are dealing with other issues this morning. And the biggest one right now for drivers, other than slick roads, is visibility. So getting a look at what we're seeing to start off your morning, take a look at this redding right now down to a less than a mile of visibility. I want to go ahead and circle this for you to show you. This is where we're seeing a huge issue with fog right now. We're also seeing a big issue right now heading south of Orville into Marysville, and you can see heading up into the Sierra. So there are areas where visibility is less than a mile at the moment. So what we're seeing right now is again another big issue for drivers today. Visibility on the roadways heading into Red Bluff to Redding right now. You need to be careful. It's hard to see out there. Headlights are your friend. Brights are not. Don't use your brights in the fog. Mostly dry today. Rain and snow returning tonight and then lower snow is ahead as well. And right now you can take a look at this. This is Chester. You can see snow still on the side of the highway. So we are still seeing some slick conditions out there from yesterday. More rain and snow heading in tonight and through tomorrow. Temperatures this morning cooler than yesterday. 30s to 40s in the valley right now. 20s to 30s in the mountains. Mid to high 30s in the foothills. So grab the jacket on your way out the door. You are going to be wanting it. Doesn't look like you'll necessarily need the umbrella through this afternoon but it's not a bad idea to keep it handy. Winds not very strong out of the north up to around 5 miles an hour right now. Staying calm this morning. South winds pick up this evening up to around 10 to 15 miles an hour and then start to get gusty overnight into tomorrow. Now winter storm warning in place from 10 p.m. tonight through 10 p.m. Saturday above 4,000 feet. That's for snow over the passes. You're going to need chains if you're heading through higher elevations, so please keep that in mind. It's going to be treacherous in the mountains over the weekend forecast. Today, starting out dry in the valley, some showers along the coast. That's about it early on today. Heading into where we were seeing some of that worst activity yesterday morning, nothing early on today. So that's good news as you make your way out the door. But it's also where we're seeing that dense fog early on today as well. And this low pressure area is going to make its way towards the coast through the day today. By this evening, that's when it arrives. You can see 6 to 8 p.m. heading through the northern mountains, starting to make its way into the valley late tonight into early tomorrow that spreads through by tomorrow afternoon though that's already wrapping up and by tomorrow night we're mostly just seeing mountain showers lingering then we dry out for Sunday with the next wave of wet weather moving in on Tuesday of next week so starting out in the high 30s to low 40s in the valley ending up in the low to mid 50s for your afternoon with cloudy but dry conditions expected today mountain areas 20s to 30s this morning ending up in the high 30s to mid 40s and mostly dry through your afternoon with some scattered showers in the northern mountains and ahead in your storm tracker seven day forecast where your weekends always in view mid 50s and cloudy but dry today more rain on the way with low to mid 50s for the valley tomorrow and snow down to as low as 4,000 feet so please be careful if you're traveling in the mountains low 50s Sunday into Monday and staying dry with the next wave of wet weather on Tuesday not all that impressive looking. Then we dry out and stay chilly for Wednesday into Thursday of next week. Megan and Julia.